workshop. In today's video, we're going to be making a really cool looking lamp. I have a whiskey bottle, an old table leg, and a bit of a lamp that my kid broke. Now I'm making this lamp for my good friend Neil, who had this lovely whiskey bottle that he wanted to do something with, but he just hasn't got the technical skills, the wherewithal, or the tools to do it for himself. So, he asked me to do it, and I was more than happy to oblige. Neil is also behind a campaign at the moment to get JP King of Palettes trending on Twitter with the hashtag JP King of Palettes. I like that hashtag, I think this is a good idea. So if you like this video, please share it on Twitter, use that hashtag, and let's get me trending, come on. Now then, first stage in this build is to cut the bottom off this bottle. And to do that I'm going to use a new technique that I've not tried before, which involves scoring a straight line all the way around the bottom, and then using thermal shock to break it off. And to do that I'm going to stick it into boiling water and then into ice water. So the expansion and rapid contraction will hopefully make it all will cleanly crack all the way around and the bottom will come away nicely. But as I've not done this before, I don't want to do it on the posh whiskey bottle. So first up, I'm going to try it on something a little more down market. So what you can see here is a little jig that I've put together very quickly which is going to help me to cut the bottles nice and cleanly. So there's a screw at the back end around this clip which stops the, the rotary tool from moving forwards and these two pieces of wood stop it moving from side to side so you've got this stuck nice and firm in place. This end of this piece of wood is also a stop for the bottle so all I need to do is switch it on and then rotate the bottle against the glass cutting blade that I fitted to it and hopefully I'll get a nice clean cut all the way around. Okay, so we have a pan of boiling water and a pan of ice water. Let's see if we can thermally shock it. And I am wearing some gloves for this as well. Okay, let's see if it'll crack. Okay, a couple of reasons that could have failed. First one is because there were quite a few different score lines on that bottle from when I've been testing scoring it and using different configurations of this rig that I built. Uh, there was a few different lines, it was never guaranteed which one it was going to score along. I was hoping it would go down the deepest one, which is the one I just cut, but that was never a sure thing. Also, it might not have been in the hot water long enough, it might not have got hot enough to be immediately dumped in the cold, so I have enough of a temperature difference to get that thermal shock to work. Also, maybe the glass was a bit thicker than the demonstration videos that I watched that have worked. Who knows? A lot of different factors. All I know, that was a fail. So what do we do now? We get on and we do it straight on the proper bottle. What could possibly go wrong? And that's another epic fail. So what I'm going to do is what I should have done in the first place and just use the bloody cutter to cut the bottom off the bottle. No messing about. bottle, we've taken the bottom off it, got rid of all the sharp jagged bits, we're good to go. Um, it could have got a bit flat with a bit more sanding but it's not really necessary because that's going to be hidden inside the wooden mount when it's finally set up. I think that's going to look really cool, I like that. So next job, get the light fitting out of this, mount it in this and we've got a lamp. This here is why it's a bad idea to use a grinder to get a cable out of a steel tube. 
can't use that anymore. Luckily, we have a backup. Now then, I've got my bottle, got my lamp holder that's going to go in there like that. I want to use this table leg to make a nice little wooden base to mount this lamp holder into. That's the next job. So there you go, that's how you make a custom one of a kind lamp out of an old whiskey bottle. I hope you like it Neil, because I put as much effort into it as I think the inventor of the JP King of Palace hashtag deserves. So next time I come to visit I'm hoping to see it in pride of place on your mantelpiece. So if you enjoyed this video give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe, use the boxes at the bottom. Um, in the description you'll find all my social media links, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Patreon. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!